found your post. Okay. Right here. Yeah. All right. Anybody who wants to look at it. Yeah. What this, year is that? This is 2018, the date of November. Right. 17th, 2018. Boy, you're killing it. 2018. 20, 20. No, go ahead. Go I mean, ahead. It's, it's, <laughs> this is your post <laughs> under your name. Yeah. And you, you're talking about the Rothschild family, which has been at the center of anti-Semitic conspiracy since not the know 19th that. century. I have no idea. I'm telling it's taken a few years, but um, Marjorie Taylor Greene is finally having to answer everywhere she goes for things that she said and done in the past. I've always said this, every time someone gets exposed for something, currently it's a, a, a Kevin McCarthy, a Steve Scalise should be answering these questions. Every time they go anywhere and stick their face out, they should be asked about something, I don't care when it's from. In this particular instance, it's from her Space Lasers rant in 2018. And if you, in case you guys uh, forgot, but she did mention that. But as she uh, interacted with this particular reporter, uh, she lost it when she was confronted here about her past statements about space lasers controlled by Jew wealthy Jewish people and how it caused wildfires in California. That's more of the background for her space lasers talk. Uh, so at an event, a reporter uh, confronted her about a 2018 Facebook post where she said that they're beaming <laughs> the sun's energy back to earth. I'm sure they wouldn't ever miss a transmitter receiving station, right? Is what she also wondered. What would that look like anyway? She continued, a laser beam or a light beam coming down to earth, I guess. Could that cause a fire? Hmm, I don't know. I hope not. That would look good for Pacific Gas and Electric, Rothschild Incorporation, SolarIn, or Jerry Brown, who sure does seem to be fond of PG and E. So that was her argument on space lasers and Jewish folks are controlling the world and trying to start wildfires. You know, they're always the the folks that are doing things like that. You know, that's. Historically accurate, I guess, huh? Um, so she handled that conversation by saying, hey, stop it, you shut up 2018. And her supporters are standing around her doing the same thing. As soon as I saw that, I was like, there's a pattern here. Whenever she gets confronted or asked a question about what she said or done, she has to interrupt and say to what the person's motivations are. Uh, let's watch more. I'm telling you, I very much, what is this, 20 what? 2018. Okay, regular American, never been in politics. Could not even have told you most people in back in politics or families' names don't know their back. Now that you do know, that now that you're a member of Congress and now that you've been told, <laughs> the American this, people don't care. <laughs> we well, honestly don't care. When anti you anti semitism is on the rise in an I'm alarming way. I'm against anti semitism. So you're not. You're mixing two things together. You're accusing me of something I did not do, and then you're trying to blame me for anti-Semitism. I am not on the blaming you. No, you are such a liar. You need to stop. Like I'm this is amazing. Inadvertently, couldn't you be contributing? No, no. Not I'm not. Anymore. Not at all. That's ridiculous. One hundred percent. I am. Listen, I'm a Christian. I, I am. I support Israel. I have one of the most pro-Israel voters in Congress. So why don't you judge me by by those things instead of twisting and turning what you think I was writing in some 2018 Facebook post, which is not at all what you're saying right now. That's not at all it. Congresswoman, how Interrupt and make sure that you tell the person who's answering, who asking the questions that they're liars and they're coming for you with this nonsense. And by the way, she's a Christian. You guys forgot, uh, Adrian, she's a Christian and also uh, she's not anti-Semitic. She only thinks that Jewish people are shooting space lasers down uh, and, and starting wildfires. Oh, She also just thinks the Holocaust didn't happen and that uh, Jewish people are controlling the world. Not anti-Semitic at all. <laughs> you know Christian. what? The thing that really gets me here is that Marjorie Taylor Greene kind of just pulled the eye of a black friend where she's like, "Oh, you know, I'm Christian. Oh, I support Israel. That doesn't mean you can't be pushing anti-Semitic rhetoric. And then also saying that she should be, you know, excused for her actions and the things she said in the past because it was a whole what four years ago when she was a young 43 years old. Get out of here. <laughs> You're an adult. Just because you haven't entered Congress doesn't mean you can't be subject to critique for the things you've said in the past, particularly when they are anti-Semitic. And just because you didn't know it anti-Semitic doesn't mean that it wasn't anti-Semitic. Just because you don't like for what you did to be identified as what it is, does not mean that you should get a pass. And it's just the ignorance like that that continues to perpetrate oppression and hate and people not taking accountability from their behavior and learning from it. And she is just the perfect model example of the problems today and why we continue to have things like anti-Semitism. It's weird. Um uh, bigots are ignorant about their bigotry. It's kind of the basis for it. 
If, you know, if only they knew that'd be the situation. One last uh, one last clip from this you got, not about from this, but about this. Because as I mentioned, she has this approach whenever she's being confronted about what she's done. This was her interaction with Jim Acosta when he was asking her uh, about her uh, martial, uh, was the martial law uh, text that came to light. Watch. Why people do not like Why you? Are you being because so you're a liar. I'm Why do you want to lie on television for, you, not, for your viewers? I'm not trying to lie. No, no, you're trying, I'm to, trying accuse, to ask you. No, you're about, accusing me of something, and then when I, you read the actual words, it tells another story. It right, tells but the you're truth. you're being awfully. Having, she doesn't talk. She doesn't listen. She just runs over and says, liar, 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 liar. That's the approach, and that's when she gets nervous. That's when you know whatever you're asking is most likely true.